Right, welcome to quick tutorial for the Honda Jazz, uh, the new HV, whatever it's called, Sport. This is a 2024 model, it's only got 6,900 miles. I'm going to be doing a full review on the car um, tomorrow before I take it on the road and then we go through miles per gallon and all that weird, wonderful stuff. So, USB stick, I've just got a USB, this is a 14 gig stick, just formatted it on a FAT32 in a computer, so format FAT32, place it in the USB slot, like so, then you will go to settings, settings, where are you, map and vehicle, Mac, Mac and vehicle, did you see that? And then map updates. Start map update process. Map update path file invalid. Insert a blank USB storage and select start process. Okay. Path invalid. Maybe I'm using the wrong slot. So that was the left hand slot. So I've not done it on this one before. I did it on my old one and it worked fine. Let's just try the right hand slot. Let's get it in. It's flashing. It's thinking about it. Start update. Right, that's better. That's what you're looking for. The information is about to navigate system was successfully written to your USB storage device. Remove the USB storage device and then go to this Garmin website and continue the process so part two of the video we're heading to Garmin I also forgot to say is then you turn the car off you meant to leave it uh, a little bit to before you pull your stick out I think it's 30 seconds or so while you're powering down or you pull your stick out, something like that, or the light stops flashing, I've read somewhere. Anyway, let's, let's go inside and have a look at the inside process. See, the light is out, now you remove that, otherwise you could have a little bit of a problem. Right, we'll go inside and then do the Garmin part, and then we'll do um, the loading of it as well. Right, so now I'm on my computer and I've gone onto my uh, whichever browser you want to do, and I've gone to look for Garmin Express. Um, not gone for the instructions yet. I'm just going off memory. So download for Windows. So be a Garmin Express EXE file. So open the EXE file, and it should load. Today would be nice. Oh yes, here we go, Garmin Express. I've read the terms and conditions. Install, yes. So we are installing Garmin Express. Hoping that will sort it out. And then probably go through some login stuffs as well, but I'll turn that off, ready for that. Okay, download, install all the features, yeah, because I think you need to have some features. And since I had the Garmin Express on this computer, I have done a reformat on here. So go through the install process. So you've got the little logos popped up there. Download files required. It's Windows, some extra Windows stuff needed. To load the maps. Downloading, downloading. Come on, today would be nice. Right, I'll turn this back on once it's downloaded. Well, that took a ridiculous amount of time to get the meta frame up. Anyway, when it says uh, get started, um, some you have to know load a, a frame.net thing for Windows. Add a device. Searching. Well, it's found it. I'll, I'll be 
big on my Honda cuts on there, but hey ho. So it's found my car, add device, registration and a nickname. So registration, let me just go through this. Um, I'll turn this off for a minute. Anyway, that's back. I did my registration, which is my email address, and a car, we're going to call it Rick Ashley 2, because it was Rick Ashley 1 was my first car. So when you get to that stage, press next. Tools and content, check in for updates. Well, I have got a cat here, which is kind of concerning. A cat, and she may pull the USB out. She likes the lights. So we may have a bit of technical problems, but hopefully we'll continue. So maps available and see products. Install maps, map options, France. Well, it was telling me, check in for map availability. Last check just now, installed maps. So it's going through, just check now, see pricing, well, it won't have any pricing because it's uh, Honda connected. Tools and content. Rick Ashley. Well, it's saying that it's up to date. Standby one. So I had to do. Uh, I had to do my login, and then when you've done your login, it says select map update or um, it wouldn't let me do a map update and I've got five year updates with Honda, which is quite annoying. So what I went to do is I've gone to um, loaded maps and reinstall my maps. I've clicked that and it's doing the map updates for me anyway. It approximately takes about 13 minutes to go through this process. It is a bit of a pain in the backside, but it's worth hanging on for. And then we'll take this to the car and we'll plug it in. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Yeah, the um, I had to go through my login process and it was a bit of a pain. I couldn't remember my password. So I had to then reset my password. <laughs> uh, so it's all reset, logged in, and I've named this one. It's recognized my USB device. The car's called Rick Ashley 2. And instead of doing the map update where it was talking about bill billing, I just reload in my installed maps. And it's doing the map update for me anyway. We'll take this to the car and we'll see how we get on at the car. So it's got 19, 20 minutes. It keeps fluctuating, but I'll get back at the end of this. And uh, then you're next here from me at the end of this. And then we'll go to the car. When you're done, you should see that. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. The whole process takes about an hour. It's about an hour of your life. You won't get back. But... There we go. Maps up to date. No updates available. I'm not sure what this this thing is because you press that and it just goes silly bugger mode. And then it says map update and it's also so installed map France map options. Well, I don't really want to reinstall France. I'm not going over to France just yet. And I've got uh, Google Maps as well in my car. So. On that bombshell, let's get back to the car and install it in the car then. So, we'll see me back at the car next. Just in case some of you are wondering what car it is, it is the EHEV on the Jazz. Right. Let's go updates. So, let's go updates. Let's power up. Wait for the media to power up. As I mentioned earlier, it's a right hand USB. What we're gonna need, oh, you get the C message all the time. So let's go right hand USB. So that's flashing. And we made it look easy on the instructions. We need to go to settings. And and there it is, start update procedure, sort it out. Searching for updates. So basically, 
It's been telling me I needed an update, but the current map is 2023-10, ready to install, is 2023-10, so I'm not going to install it, but if you were doing an update, you then hit install now, it takes about 15-20 minutes, go through the process, it will restart again, and then once you're installed, power down your car, wait for that to stop flashing, and away you go. I'm going to dismiss that because I'm not going to install it with the same update. So, my my sat nav's been lying to me, telling me it needs an update, and obviously it doesn't. So, yeah, that's how you do the update if you were doing an update. But we're not going to do an update because there isn't one. So that, as they say, is that. And um, just keep a handy usb around for when it does flash up again and there is actually an update All right hope thank you for watching this video please like subscribe for now barbara i normally do like travel videos and flights and videos but i will be doing a journey up so my next video is going to be like a look around the inside of the car looking at under the engine and everything and going through all the instruments and and then the video after that, we are driving up from Littlehampton to Blackpool via Manchester. So I'll be doing miles per gallon, showing how the cruise control all works as well. And the uh, regenerative braking. And going through all bits and pieces. And then I'll be doing some stuff in Blackpool. Thanks for watching. I'm in Ann Barber. Thank you. Bye-bye.